నిత్యానందం దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రీనిత్య మాయా తీతానంద అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎన్టీవీ న్యూస్ ఫ్రమ్ నిత్యానంద ధ్యాన పీఠం ఇన్ బిడది ఇట్ సండే నవంబర్ సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ ఇలెవెన్ లెట్స్ టేక్ అ లుక్ అట్ ఎన్టీవీ హెడ్ లైన్స్ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ భగవద్గీత సత్సంగ్ స్వామీజీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్స్ ద ఎమోషనల్ క్లైమేట్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ లైట్ this whole verse is ashu very soon it means what even if you are able to come back to your center immediately you are a jivan mukta end relationship participants sharing their experiences this evening in sri anandeshwar temple meenakshi sundareshwara tirukalyanam 11-11-11, a full-day workshop to be conducted by Swamiji. And for the main news, in today's talk on Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 2, Verse 65, Swamiji explains the emotional climate of enlightenment. From that core of liberation, we radiate bliss as our default setting. Shri Krishna's authority reassures us that all suffering is temporary and we can abbreviate our encounters with it. When we surrender to the wisdom of stability, we create the space of living enlightenment, Jeevan Mukti. As Swamiji announced yesterday, he will continue guiding us through different Nitya Kriyas for diabetes cure in the following satsangs. If you missed today's Kriya or any of the Swamiji's discourses, you can watch it again on NTV or download these discourses from our website, nityananda.org. word in this whole verse is ashu very soon it means what even if you are able to come back to your center immediately you are a jivan mukta when you have the wrong goal i should never have any disturbance in my inner space only then i am jivan mukta you are never going to recognize your jivan mukti hero like arjuna is in depression now suddenly he has one more guilt person like him how can he fall into depression is he really a wise man now he has this problem also now bhagwan is to heal that problem also i can say guilt of falling into the guilt fear of fear into desire of desire equal to guilt square all the sins of the world into all the ignorance of the world plus guru's grace equal to enlightenment because that one nullifies everything all the intelligence of the world and all the extraordinary experiences of the world minus guru's grace equal to ignorance the real guru's grace is not guru showing himself as big guru showing himself as equal to you but that that happens with a tremendous trust ramana maharishi says about arunachala consciously intimidating presence without any initiation or tapas or practice or anything just live around him he will swallow you bhagwan is doing the job of lifting arjuna to his level by revealing the right sacred secret ashu that is the key word in this verse very soon it means what do not expect that never ever unpleasantness should breeze through your being at some times you would have become unsteady in future also you may become unsteady don't worry if you are able to get back to your center again the truth of the mission your life's mission your life's purpose you are jivan mukta it is a second day of much awaited end relationship program 
devotees and disciples all around the world are participating online through two way video conferencing. It was an interesting day yesterday for all the participants of end relationship program. They went through different techniques to rediscover the joy of relationships. Yoga was conducted in the afternoon for all the participants around the world. It was followed by question and answer session by Swamiji and Darshan in the evening to culminate the day's program. A few participants happily share their experience. Let's find out what they have to say. I am Dr. Shanti from Bangalore. I am practicing obstetrics and gynecology for the past 20 years. I just came to attend the End Relationship program. It is a very beautiful and unique program conducted by Swamiji himself. We generally think relationship is something which is not part of us. It is something outside of us. But one beautiful and strong point what I learned here was Relationship is an extension of our inner space, our cells. That did give me a strong understanding and I strongly feel it's going to make a tremendous difference in my life, in my uh, regarding relationship with my family, with my friends, with my professional colleagues and how we look at life, how we look at the world, about our understanding about God, about world, about Guru, about society, everything takes a deep shift. So this definitely is going to help us to have a beautiful and a enjoyable life. I strongly recommend all of, all of you to come and enjoy this program, which makes us very joyful and happy. I am Prasad Nityanandam. Uh, I am from Bangalore. Uh, I am into safety, security and surveillance business basically. Uh, I have attended the earlier program in Wealth which has been, it's been helpful for me in many, many ways. Uh, so I thought in the extension of the same thing, I thought I'll attend and enrich my relationships what I have uh, with my family, friends and business associates. Uh, that's the idea I attended. And, uh, it is so far been very enriching and then uh, uh, I believe that there are certain things, certain realizations which, we, which has happened and I had a wonderful experience uh, and I'm sure that I'm going to uh, take this experience forward and use it in my life and wherever this unfulfilled or uh, closures has not happened and uh, there are inhibitions, so I think that that's what I think I'm going to do about it. And, uh, I am sure that there has been a magical touch uh, about Swamiji um, whenever I have had uh, opportunity, uh, you know, having the darshan and it is always, uh, it, yesterday in, in fact I had a magical experience actually when in the energy darshan, uh, something which is uh, not happened earlier. Uh, when he placed uh, his uh, hand on my forehead, uh, I saw uh, Omkara, uh, flaming Omkara in my, uh, you know, Agna, uh, in, in the chakra area and also I could f find uh, you know kind of a s sparkling effect in my body uh, so that was very wonderful experience which I thought I should share uh, with people thank you in the Sri Anandeshwara temple today evening there will be Meenakshi Sundareshwara Tirukalyana the traditional Vedic wedding ceremony all the couples attending the end relationship program will have the opportunity to reinforce their marriage and exchange the sacred thread in the presence and with the blessings of Swamiji. Celebration and the feast will follow. We would like to announce 11-11-11, a full day workshop conducted by Swamiji. In this unique program, Swamiji is going to reveal the deeper truths of the year 2012 and the spectacular shift in human consciousness. The year 2012 is among the most researched words on the internet today. It is subject of countless articles. Many ancient predictions like Nostradamus warn of the end of human time, yet other voices say that it heralds a stunning leap in human consciousness. The world still awaits a definitive verdict. Is 2012 an end or a beginning for humanity? 
and what will be your role as an individual and a global citizen in all this. Answers to these questions you can find in this unique workshop by Swamiji on November 11. For more information on how to register, please check our website nityananda.org or write to us at nprograms at nityananda.org. And that is all from us for tonight. Let us end our news with a quote from Swamiji. The sudden click with the master and his teachings is what is called initiation. Thank you for joining us and tune in for tomorrow's updates on NTV Nityananda.